All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the splash uh, page that we did. And so mine's right here. And basically we have three different things going on uh, in this image. And we have the background, we have the letter mark, and then we have the word mark. Now we wanna save all of these uh, and condense them onto one layer. And so the way to do that, uh, first to preserve what we have going here, we'll select these three layers, hit Control G to group them, and then duplicate that group. And we'll hide the initial one. And this one we're going to merge, so Control E. And you can also access that by right clicking and hitting uh, Merge Layers. So now they're all merged onto the same layer, what we wanna do is hit Control A and then Control C and that copies everything on that layer. We'll go to File, New, we'll hit OK, and then Paste In. Now, something I don't like about this is the fact that it did extend 100% to uh, 1080 for our width. So I'm gonna go back here real quick, and the reason that happened is because I when I take this eraser tool, it, some, some of the pixels extended beyond here, and I just don't want that. So I, what I'll do is just make sure everything is off the sides. And the way we can verify that is by taking the magic wand tool and just clicking out here. And so now we can see nothing is extending to the edges. So we'll just do this again, Control A, Control C, File New, and hit OK. Now we can see it's 984 and then paste it in. All right, so with that uh, selected, basically what we wanna do is save this. And remember, uh, what I mentioned what for about MDPI, LDPI, HDPI, X, XHDPI, uh, and XXHDPI, this, these are terms that may be completely confusing to you, um, but just for your reference, we designed this design uh, over here, this resolution based on an XXHDPI resolution. And the, that's for uh, newer smartphones that support that sort of uh, screen density. And so we wanna save that in this, this image right here in an XXHDPI folder. So we'll go to uh, File, Save for Web, and also I'm gonna be using this shortcut um, from now on after this to access that menu. And we can see here we have a, we want to specify transparent PNG 24 and everything else is good to go here. And so we'll hit save and let me go here. Blah. One second. And modified project, there we go. And we're gonna create a new folder. And in this folder, we're gonna call, this one is XXHDPI. We're gonna create another folder called XHDPI. Another folder, HDPI. And we're just gonna stick with those three for now. You can actually add, actually, I think we'll add one more, um, MDPI or medium screen density pixels and uh, yeah, those four are good. So we're gonna save this particular image and we're gonna name it Splash and hit save in the XXHDPI folder. So what we need to do now is save another version of this image. So we're gonna to go to Save for Web and down here where it says Image Size and Percentage, we need to adjust this by a factor of 66%. So 66% of this original image will give us the scaling factor for the next resolution down, which is XHDPI. So 66. Now it got smaller, you can see. And so we go into the XHDPI folder, name this a splash. All right, now it didn't scale this size down. Uh, it only did it when we went to save for web for the copy we were gonna save. So we could go here back to save for web. And for the next one, which is HDPI, that is set at 33. 
or I'm sorry, not 33, 50% rather. So the previous one was 66. This one is going to be 50%. Uh, and then the MDPI will actually be uh, 33%. All right, so let's save. We'll go back into the HDPI. Say this is splash. And then finally, we'll do this one more time. File save for web or use the shortcut. This is going to be 33%. It was essentially one third the size of the X, X HDPI size. And we'll save this as Splash. So they're named all the same. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close those out without saving, of course. All right, and now we have our main UI to work with. So what's going on here is we have one two, this background image right here, which is just the uh, diagonal pattern, and then three, this button right here. So we have three images. This text, of course, will be put in dynamically, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to hide that text, and I'm going to start with uh, quote fuel. So what we can do is select that layer, which is word mark, control A, control C, file new, hit OK, and then control V to paste it in. And it looks a lot bigger than it was over there because we were only scaled up at 45% uh, view. So now what we're going to do is save this for web. Save. Come out here, XXHDPI. We'll call this logo. And we'll also come out here and change this to 66%. And this goes in XHDPI logo save it again 50% and in HDPI and then one more time at 33 and come out here to MDPI all right so now we have the button as well to worry about um, the way we'll do the button, so we have two different states that we have to uh, scale down appropriately. So what I want to do is I, I'm going to group those up, Control-G, and then duplicate it. Hit OK. We'll just call this button. So this is our original here if we want to make changes to that. And then I'm going to come over here and ungroup those. And what I want to do is merge these uh, or flatten the layers. So if I hit Control-E. That takes the group, takes it to one layer, and same thing with uh, up here, Control E. So now we have two layers, and they should be exactly the same size. So Control A, Control C on the up layer, file new, hit OK. All right, and we have to go through that same process. So instead of you just sitting here watching me do that, remember just the scaling factors. Uh, for XX HDPI are 100%, so you don't have to worry about that for the first time. So if we save this real quick, XX HDPI, we'll call this one button up. All right, and then again, we have to go through that same process um, of saving this for each of the necessary sizes and resolutions. So XHDPI, let's see here, yep, button up. All right, so go ahead. I'm going to pause this until I finish all of these because you don't really want to necessarily see me do this. So go ahead and do that all the way through the MDPI versions. Okay, I've saved all of those, the remaining, and now we have to do the same thing for the down state. So we'll take that, Control A, Control C, and we'll just paste it in right on top of that one and get and hide this bottom one because sometimes the pixels can. I uh, overlap and creating uh, a false image. So make sure that's hidden and we'll do the same thing again. So save this for web, going back into XXHDPI and we'll call this one button down. And do that again through all the other necessary sizes. All right, and here I am with the final one MDPI, which is 33%, button down and save. All right, so then finally, I'm gonna hide both of these I'm also going to hide the top uh, word mark just so we have this here in view. And what we want to do is for BG2, we want to make sure again that uh, these don't touch the edges. 
Same thing down here and here. Okay, so now if I take the magic wand tool, we can see that this is just a selection in the center. So now control A, control C, file new, hit OK, control V, and then save for web. And again, we have the same sort of issue going on here that we're going to have to deal with. So uh, we'll, ha we'll go ahead and save this. And actually, you know what we could do, now that I'm thinking about it, to, to save uh, space is control shift N for a new layer, put it beneath it, and give it a black background. Now, here's what this is going to allow us to do. Um, before this, like when we had it just like right here, the size of this image is 417K, and that's because we're using a 24-bit PNG transparent. Um, if we bring back this black background, and because we know our background is going to be black no matter what, we can save this, and we can now see even if we leave it as transparent, it's 185K, so it's a lot smaller. Uh, so if we just go to PNG 8, and you can turn off transparent, that, that obviously doesn't affect anything, but go into PNG 8, that's 129K, and that'll just be fine, a lot better. So uh, we'll come back up here. We'll call this uh, BG, and then again, go through everything uh, and saving them for the other sizes as well. So it's, remember, it's 66% and then 50 and then 33. All right, and now they are saved. All right, so I just bring back our design here. All right, so this is essentially again what it's going to look like, uh, along with the splash image. And now we, so now that we've saved all of our necessary images, we can now proceed to the next lesson, which will involve getting Android Studio open and getting our splash page and this page here uh, ready to go on the layout. All right, so I'll see you then.